Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, we'll be opening a bunch of booster packs from the brand new Genesis Battle of Champions Jlara 2nd Edition set, so let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with Genesis Battle of Champions, it's a collectible card game similar to Magic the Gathering, but it also adds an additional tactical battle element to the game. And they're releasing this brand new J. Lara 2nd Edition set, which combines all of the best cards from the previous set, but also introduces the potential of drawing new foil cards. So I'm super excited to dive in and open some packs and see if we can pull some rare cards, but let's jump into it and start opening things up. All right, guys, well, let's jump into opening some booster packs from this brand new booster box for Genesis Battle of Champions in the brand new J. Lara second edition set that just came out. And so I'm super excited to jump into this new booster box. Some things that are really cool with this new set is you have a ton of more opportunities to get rare cards, and they actually introduced foil cards for the first time in this new set as well. I don't know if I'll get through the entire booster box in this video. We'll see how long it goes. So we might have to jump into a second video to open up the rest of the box, but let's jump in and see what's inside. All right, guys, so if you're not familiar with Genesis Battle of Champions, it's a trading card game that plays similar to Magic the Gathering, but then also introduces a battle mechanic and a tactical grid battlefield that you can see below. And so you'll take on the role of various different champions and then build a deck of corresponding cards that you can use to assist your champion by casting spells, summoning monsters, and more. But again, let's jump in and see what we got inside these packs. So there's definitely a lot of cool artwork in the game, as you can see. Got various cards, like I said, that are spells, monsters, Enchantments that you can get, creatures you can summon, and then as you play the cards, there's various different tactical grids that they take effect in. So you've got the card rarity here at the bottom as you go through. Decoy rabbit, looks like a new champion card here, so that's cool. And this one looks like it's the rare. It's kind of a flaming horse, so that's pretty sweet. Another rare here. Awesome. Haunted catacombs. Flight. Searing light. And chain lightning. Cool. So no foils in that pack, so I guess it's not every pack that has foils, but let's set off the rares here to the side. Then we can sleeve them up here when it's ready. So I don't know if there's a card trick per se, like I can do with Pokemon cards where it saves the rares for last, but again, the artwork's pretty fun to look through either way. Let's go Martial Sentry, Skeleton Warrior, Underworld Dealings, again really cool artwork here, various summons and creatures and cards you can find. Another hero, so that's cool. So one thing I definitely like too is that you've got the various different starting hero cards and that can obviously switch up how the game plays. We've got a rare here, Enraged Gorilla. Uh, Bull here, another rare one. And then again we've got some more common cards, different summons, spells and everything. Cool. You know, no foils yet, but there is a chance that they're in here, so let's keep diving through and see what we can get. So again, I think that those that like games, like Magic the Gathering, 
But then also tactical RPGs will really like Genesis Battle of Champions. I kind of feel like it's a combination of both almost as you play. It's got some Wolverine claws it looks like there. Adrenaline, nice. Whip Smash, Castlevania style, definitely a fan. Another, another champion you can play as. Here's the rare Anguish Flame. I know I've pulled a couple of those so far. We've got a Purifying Wave here, another rare card. Cool. Add those to the stack. Inferno Pits. A cute cub here. Mythical Protection. This one's pretty sweet. I like the artwork there. Nice. And so again, what they did in this set is they took a lot of the favorite cards people had, some of the best ones in the previous sets, kind of combined them into this new second edition set that just came out. That's coming out depending on when you watch this. Again, a lot of cool cards here. And so the various decks have these different card types too. So depending on who your champion is that you're playing as, that can determine what cards you can use in your deck. So again, there's a lot of strategy, not only as you play, but building out your deck as well. This one looks like it's a epic rare, so even more rare, so that's awesome. Cool. Okay, another champion here you can play as. So we've got another rare Necro Lich. Nice. Oh, nice. Cool. So we've got an epic rare version and then a rare version of that same card. So that's cool. Throw that there. Sidestep. Searing Light, Underworld Knowledge, cool. So pulled our first Epic Rare, so that's awesome. Again, still looking for those foil cards, so we'll see. Hopefully we pull some here soon, that would be awesome. I'm excited to see what those look like, as some of the previous sets did not have those. This is the first one to my understanding to have the foil cards. So I'm excited to see what that looks like here. Gust, Fire Pillar, Xyfang, Sphinx. Oh nice, I don't think I've seen this hero before. Erica, that's cool. Got a Tiger in tow. Alright, so we got another rare here. Ghoul. Another cool strike card. Nice. Again, on that foil hunt here. So hopefully we get one soon. Seems like they're pretty rare in the set, at least from what I can tell so far. But let's jump into another pack here. And again, we got a variety of different spells. Teleportation, Crazed Rabbit here, Landslide, Flame Jet again, Psychic Assault, Hurricane Sweep, nice. Sunrise Fox, another Adrenaline card. There's another champion we got. Kendra, cool. All right, here's the rare. Chrono Walker, nice. And then Guardian of Balance, nice. Again, still on that foil hunt. Leap, Gut Punch, Inferno Pits, nice. All right. 
Another pack here, we'll see what's inside. So we got Rampage Toss. Stampeding Force again. Diabolic Roar. Silver-legged Recluse. Giant Spider, gross. Fire Pillar. Wind Slash. This one's another cool looking starter hero. That's sweet. All right, we've got Epiphany for a rare. And then a Gorilla, another rare. Sweet. Dark Brand, Power Punch, Cub, Thunderstruck. Nice. Again, still no foils, but it says that there is a chance that they're in there. So hopefully we pull one soon. I'm excited to see if it's gonna be the whole card is foil. Just the picture itself, I guess we'll see. Gust, Sphinx Eater, another giant spider, stable footing, infernal lashback. Air Pillar, Upheaval, this one's Malik, I believe, I remember. Nice, yep, another cool starting hero, more aggressive type. All right, so here's another rare card. A Vorpal Blade, nice, that looks pretty sweet. Cool. Another Tiger Summon you can have. Or a transmutation and a shadow claw. Nice. Cool. All right, guys, is this the pack? Is this the foil pack you've been looking for? Let's find out. All right, guys, so we've got landslide, holy imbue. Cleave, another sentry, backflip, psychic assault, wind slash, shut down, skeleton warrior, here's another rare, nice, another rare here, cool, add that to the list. Awesome. Cool. Well, still no foil cards, but keep plugging away. See how often they come up. Again, they must be super rare since we haven't seen any yet. But you do get a couple of rares every pack, so that's definitely nice to see. All right, another Sphinx Eater. Kodama. Left hook, arcane shield, angel's embrace, dense fog, an earth pillar, sandstorm, looks like Erica again, nice. Here's another rare, puppet control, cool. And then a giant scorpion, intense. All right, power punch. Hound, Mist, Thunderstruck again. Nice. All right, guys. Next pack. I don't know if there's a science behind it, but let's see if we get one this time. Tornado Winds, Baboon, Cleave. Tiger, another giant spider, gross. Oh, nice, that one's pretty cool. Another character, all right, Angel of Retribution, nice. And Maleficence, 
Cool. Jen's still on the hunt for that foil. Displace. Rabbit. Nice. Alright guys. Well, I've got one pack left for the half of the box. So let's see if this one is a winner with that foil card. Again, it doesn't say on the box that there's a guaranteed foil card. Because I'm just hoping that there is one. That would be nice. Kodama. Diabolic Roar. Quick Shot. Unhinge. Shut down. Some intense artwork, skeletons. Ooh, who's this one? This is a new hero. Champion, I don't think I've seen this one before. Cool. Alright. There's the rare card here. And bolt shot. Cool. Alright guys, well, no foils so far, but... They still potentially can be in here. Alright guys, well let's just go through a quick recap of the rare cards that we pulled in this set. Definitely let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. I think I really like this Angel of Retribution. I like the artwork for sure on that one. Pretty cool. But let me know in the comments below what your favorites are as we go through them here. So a ton of rares. We even pulled one epic rare. So that was pretty awesome. Not every pack will you see one of those, but they are hidden in there. So you can definitely find them. So again, here's that epic rare. So pretty sweet. Only one of those so far in this opening. Definitely like that. I like this fire horse too. Kind of reminds me of Rapidash, but more realistic. Awesome. Well, again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this opening video of a bunch of different booster packs from Jaylara Second Edition, the new set that's coming out. We've got about half of the box left, so definitely stay tuned for a future video where we open more and see what's inside. Hopefully, pulling one of those epic foil cards that could be hidden within. Also, another cool thing to note is that we've got five promo purifying wave cards. So we're actually going to be doing a giveaway for new patrons over on Patreon for our channel. So we'll do a chance to win these for new patrons this month. We'll do a drawing for that at the beginning of September. So if you want to get a chance to win one of these purifying wave cards, head on over to nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. Become a patron and get your chance to win one of these new purifying wave cards. And we'll do that for all active patrons at the beginning of September. So definitely head on over over to nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon if you want to participate and get your chance to win these cards. But if you guys like this video, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. If you'd like to learn more about Genesis Battle of Champions, there'll be links in the description below. Again, if you'd like to support our channel, pick out content and more, become a patron of ours at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you'd like to plug into our live streams and Let's Plays we do on the channel, you can follow us on Twitch at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. But once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you more soon.